Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to talk about deep speech. Alright, so in this video I'm going to talk about deep speech, an open source speech to text engine by Mozilla based on deep learning which allows us to convert speech audio files into text. And I'm going to show you how you can get yourself up and running on Windows. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we need is a model. And while creating your own model is possible, it is very computationally expensive. So for this video, and in general for most of your projects, you should start with a pre-trained model that you can find in the Deep Speech repository on GitHub, then on releases, and by the time of this video, we are looking for release 0.7.3, and we go down and download two files, which are models.scorer and models. Dot pbmm. And depending on your connection, this can take a few minutes, so I recommend you to do that first. Alright, so while our modules are downloading, the next thing we should do is installing Deep Speech. So, what I prefer to do is creating a new folder in the Documents folder called, for example, Deep Speech. Then I'm going to cd into it. And then the next thing we should do is making sure that we have Python 3.6 installed. And the best thing to do is just type in Python in the terminal and then check in the version here. This is crucial because Python 3.7 or Python 3.8 are not compatible with deep speech as of now. So if you don't have the right version, the best thing you should do is going into the Python download page and then searching for Python version 6.7 or 6.9, for example, and download it and install it, okay? After we check the version, we are ready to create a new virtual environment. And the command to do that, let me type in python minus m vmv dot, which means create the virtual environment here. All right, so it seems like it creates the environment. Now we have to activate that environment, and the command to do that is script activate. And as you can see, we now have deep speech at the beginning of our prompt line, okay? That means that we are into that environment. Now we are going to pip install deep speech. And then be patient because it usually takes a while. All right, so as you can see, we already have deep speech enabled now. And this is enough to convert audio files into text. But in this video, I wanted to show you how you can use your microphone to convert speech to text in real time. And to do that, we first need to install another thing which can be found into the deep speech examples repositories, also on GitHub. And in particular, we want the MicVed streaming folder. And we want to copy it into the deep speech folder we created earlier. All right, so as you can see, if I type dear, I now have the MicVed streaming folder. I'm now going to CD into that and install all the required dependencies with pip install-r requirements. Wait for a bit because it takes a while. All right, so now that the dependencies are installed, we can try the example. And to do that, we type this command, python, then the name of the script, mikved streaming, minus m, and then the path of the .pbmm module we downloaded earlier space minus s and then the path of the scorer we found it before then we can start hello everyone goodbye as you can see my speech was converted into text we can experiment with this a lot and i'm going to show you some cool tricks you can do at this point if we open the MicVed streaming uh, script and uh, we go down to about uh, this line right here, 194, here we have uh, the conversion between the stream and the text. One very interesting thing is that if we change finish stream with finish stream with metadata and we save it and execute it again, the script will now give us time information for each token and this is super cool. I'm going to show you. Hello everyone! As you can see, for each letter it says the time at which that letter was detected and this is super useful for many applications such as, for example, if you want to add subtitles to videos 
you now have the exact moment in which you should put that letter. And uh, I'm going to show you a nice little project in one of the next videos, but for now, you can experiment with this as much as you want. All right, so before leaving you, I'm going to show you another very cool thing related to deep speech, which is the Common Voice project. So most of the cloud speech APIs, such as the one from Google, use big data sets that are proprietary and they are not free to use for everybody. This makes creating open source speech to text engines, such as deep speech, very difficult. So Mozilla created this project, Common Voice, in which you can donate your voice and also validate voices made by other people. And this is super useful. If you have some spare minutes during the day, I highly suggest you to do that. And another very useful thing is that because they are creating this huge data set and they created this platform, they also offer the same thing for many languages. I personally contributed quite a bit to the Italian data set because as of now, there are no good Italian data sets and if you're not a native English speaker, I highly suggest you to contribute to Common Voice in your native language because it really helps the project and eventually we will get open source speech to text engines for everybody. An open source speech to text engine is a great thing to have because as of now, we only have good performances on those cloud services such as the Google Speech API, which is only running on the cloud and is proprietary. So two good things about deep speech is that it is not proprietary. You can do whatever you want with it and you can also run it locally. And this is very good for many applications. The thing is uh, the performance of deep speech is not uh, as good as the proprietary counterparts as of now. So please contribute to those great projects uh, if you have a bit of time because uh, eventually we will all benefit from these projects. So thank you very much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like because it really helps and I hope to see you next time.